Well, we received a call back when we had the heavy rains and the unfortunate woman's basement flooded. The city sewer had backed up. We offered a solution to that problem by installing a backwater valve on our main sewer line to prevent any water from backing up into her basement again. And unfortunately, her hot water tank and her furnace got submerged in water. So anytime water uh, gets in the control panels or the gas valve of either equipment, uh, the safest thing to do is get them replaced. The uh, first procedure is to turn the gas off the appliance, drain the water out of the tank, disconnect the flue pipe and the water lines, and remove it from the home. Bring the new tank downstairs. We make sure that the flue is taking the exhaust up through the chimney so that we don't have any carbon dioxide problems. We purge the air out of that water tank by filling it with water. Check our gas lines with a soap bubble solution. And then we can go ahead and fire up the equipment. We are going to pull the old furnace out and remove it from the home. We're going to size up for a new plenum. It needs to be manufactured for the top of the furnace to reach the existing ductwork. Then we're going to place a new furnace in place and secure everything, the gas line, electric line, thermostat line, condensate line, and the flue gases. Once we complete the installation of the furnace and the new hot water tank, the customer should be set for many years to come, enjoying the comfort and the efficiency of our new equipment. Whether you need us there to repair your unit or you're just looking to upgrade, call our HVAC division, 68 Flush.